for me, it is, it is uh, as a music director with such an orchestra, with such a great and rich tradition, is important to, from one side, to continue the great tradition, the great expectations and the great tradition of the orchestra, but also uh, to, yeah, to, to, to take care that each concert which we perform is equally important and, and, uh, and we give 100% our inner emotional inner world, our heart to the piece that we are playing every evening. Absolutely great teamwork and, a, uh, and a, I'm just privileged to be, to be working with these wonderful musicians together. We are, we are, very, uh, we are very, very thankful and very excited about two, two Grammys. These Grammys are for each of, each of musicians and our great, uh, great, uh, also great audience and, uh, and of course our engineer team who are, who are absolutely brilliant as well. So, uh, so we are happy about Grammy, of course. The 11th comes as a very, very dramatic, because the symphony is called uh, for uh, 1905 revolution. It's a very emotional piece and I think in a certain sense it's it, unfortunately what happens in the world now it's very and uh, very shaky and very very uh, unstable and th therefore we have we play Rachmaninoff's second symphony which is beautiful which is a or, or Mahler one, first symphony or or Tchaikovsky well, in concerto with Gilsham, and also we have Haydn, which is of course always humorous, and in one concert we have Haydn symphony, and then we have our two wonderful soloists from the orchestra, Jessica and um, Elizabeth, playing uh, uh, harp, flute, concerto, Mozart. So this is a very uh, unusual combination, but it's a very beautiful concerto, and so it also shows how great our musicians in the orchestra are, so they, they, all of them can be a soloist. And so I think this is a, it's a complex program with very different pieces. He is one of the greatest conductors, of course, of, 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 our, of all times. And, and of course, Boston Symphony is a, is a special love to Seiji. Before coming to Boston and before, of course, me as a student, I, I always I was listening to a lot of recordings and, of course, one of the great master conductors was also uh, Seiji. I, I was, of course, following the recording and the Boston Symphony, particularly. There are many wonderful concert halls in, in different cities, but I think Suntory Hall is one of the greatest examples of, of being one of the greatest halls in the world, of, of the, from the modern halls. So uh, this is a, yeah, it's, it's a great privilege to play this great music with this great orchestra in this absolutely world-class concert hall. Dear friends, we, we want to share our love for music. We want to share our passion for making music. And we are going with such a huge expectations and, and love because we know how great, always how great the Japanese audiences are and, and we, we, are, we are looking forward to expect that great feeling again.